Hi. Okay, this is the uh, hopefully quick instructions for uh, completing the database, the Chapter 3 database project in, um, in management information systems. So what we have here on the screen initially is um, an outline of the particular project. So what I want you to do is to, in access, and again, what we're doing this for is to just understand the basic con concepts of a database. So in access, complete the following requirements. And let me just read along here. Write a short narrative describing the database. What's the purpose? And you can use Word for that. Again, using Word, list all fields, field definitions, primary keys, foreign keys, and table form is just fine. Now your database must include three tables. Uh, list all data to be inserted into the table. Each table should contain at least five records. And two tables must contain at least five fields. The third may contain less. Each table must have a primary key. Two tables must have a foreign key. And one table must include a date field. Three, use access to build the database tables and insert data. And that's what most of this will be, is just simply using access to build that. So I can demonstrate that for you. And I'll probably have some, I'm not an access expert, but it certainly demonstrates uh, in a GUI way uh, what databases are. And then de develop four separate queries. Um, so I'm only going to give you one probably, but you can do the rest. So with that, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to edit this initial um, project. So, and I'm going to get rid of my first um, image. Now, I've already gone and developed question one. So question one, I'm going to take this, I'm just going to copy all of this stuff. Hopefully it'll work into, into, into one. There we go. So really simply, this, identif uh, this database identifies my favorite books, authors, genre, and it's my book. Uh, this is the data in my database. So what would be really handy for you folks is to take uh, and draw out, and that's what we're going to have time for you today to do, is draw out um, your particular tables. I have three different tables, books, genre, and author. Now within that, um, within that, I've listed my fields, my primary keys, genre, my primary key, the author, my primary key, and then my foreign key in books, genre ID, these two match, author ID, these two match. So this is the, these lines are the links that tie each one of these separate tables together. So as we can see here, by creating a database, a relational database in this way, it, it increases or decreases data redundancy. Instead of having to put a long list of information in genre ID, I simply associate number two with it. And then I have sci-fi and space. I don't have, um, if I had multiple books here with the same genre ID, I don't have to replicate this information, science, sci-fi and historical, within each, this table, within this record, I should say, within this record, and so on. It'll make more sense once we do that. Now, using this, I'm going to go into Access, and then create a blank database, and hopefully I won't mess up too badly here. Um, I want to go right away to a design view. First table name, and I'm going to call it Books. Okay, that. Now, the ID, this is my primary key, this is the ID, and I'm, just, I'm actually going to call it something different. I'm going to switch back to BID, I'm going to call that BID. Okay, auto number, that means with every new record I put in, it's going to increase, one, two, three, four, five. That's okay, because that's a primary key. My second field is book title. click in data type, text, and if I look down here in field size, it's by default it's 255 characters. I only want that 40 wide. Again, if you have a very small database, the field size is really of no importance. If you have a very large database with many, many, many students or records in it, I should say, 
many fields in it that 255 versus 40. Think of this, the, the space savings uh, between 255 and 40. My third field, I'll click back here, published. And I think that that was just a number, if I remember. That should be just a number. Because it's a, and, and I want to make it a number rather than a date um, on that. Genre ID. Now remember, that's a foreign key, and that's going to tie. And it's going to be a number. And then I have author ID. And that is also a number. And I'll change that. Now, my primary keys are numbers, so the corresponding foreign key, the link tying the tables together, have to be all numbers. They have to all look alike. Okay, that's good. I'm going to save this. And then I should be able to go to home. Let's see. What am I not doing right here? File. I just want to save it. Okay. Now I need to go. Where is my create? There we go. Create another table. Now this one is going to be genre. So I'm going to title that genre. I'm going to hit the save button right away. And it's going to ask me, what do I want to save? Or what do I want to call it? Now by default, keep in mind where this thing is going. By default, it's going to go out to um, your documents directory. Okay, so if you want to save as first, um, save it as you know, save it to your flash drive or someplace else. I'm going to go ahead and create the whole thing and then save it out to to a flash drive, basically. Genre, and I want to go to the design view. It's easier to work with. The ID field is for so genre. I'm calling it genre ID. Remember, it's tying to uh, that other the books table, and with this, though, I'm just going to call it a number. Um, auto number is actually okay. We can at least we can leave it auto number. It's a primary key, and so any additional genres or records will be an increment of one, two, three, four, five. It's the corresponding foreign key that will insert the data manually. So genre category text. 40, a uh, subcategory, if I spell that right, text, 40. Okay, we're going to save this. Now, and I should be able to go to create table. I'm going to do my third one, create my third one, go to the design view, and this is authors. Look in my author and it's author underscore ID is the title of that field. Okay, auto number is just fine. What do I have here? I have uh, L name. Okay, text. A lot of work in setting this up, but um, it, it has to be done. Birth year. And I wanted to make that a number. I'm avoiding a date in this particular example, but I want you to put a date in. My dates aren't working well with these older uh, years. Uh, they do work, but just not a, uh, for a great quick demonstration. Let's see, birth year, we've got B location, B location. And that is text, if I remember right, and that should be 40. So birth location, and then finally death. Lowercase, just make it the same. Death year, and that's a number. Okay, all right, so we should have save. I should have all that information entered. Now, if I go to data sheet view, I have the author ID, L name, and so on, and I have to do author, books, and genre. Um, L, last name, I'm going to just start to cut and paste. Burroughs, year, eighteen seventy five. Location was Chicago, or was it? Yeah, Burroughs was in Chicago. Death year, nineteen fifty. 
Next one is a guy by the name of Cahill, who was born in 1940 and was born in New York. Yeah, New York. Okay, but he's still alive. Go to books. Uh, go to home. Oh, we're in design view already, so we're in books. Book title, John Carter. That's because of the movie coming out, March 2012. Now, that was originally published in 1912. Genre ID 2 and 1. And so, because of these foreign keys, you want to make sure that you lay out the table first so you can see how they all tie together and be able to enter the information. The second is Tarzan, 1914, I think, and one. And then we have a, a very long title. And with St. Patty's Day coming up, I thought this was uh, appropriate and very true, How the Irish Saved Civilization. I'll enter that in there. And I can't see the whole thing, but that's OK. What have I got? I may have that field too short. No, it's it was a number. You see what I did? Let me grab that. Cut that out there. Paste it there. Uh, 1995, three, two. Genre, uh, and this is just takes some time. Uh, Sci-fi and historical is one. And because that's Tarzan, I believe. Sci-fi and space is the next. Space. And then historical and Celtic. OK. So I should have uh, be able to go to File and Save Everything. Okay, save it. Now what I have to do at this point is put together my relationships. So I'm going to close and close and close. Now these are my tables on the left. So under, let's see, external data, database tools, relationships. Now what tables do I want to add? I actually just want to add all of these. Close this. Now you see we have authors, books, and genre. The little keys mean the primary keys. That's the main identifier of the particular record. Now in order to create a primary key to foreign key relationship, I have author ID. I'm just going to click on author ID as a primary key and drag it down to the foreign key. Edit relationships. That, um, dialog box comes up. And it says authors, author ID is related to books, author ID. We're not going to enforce, enforce referential integrity. That means I absolutely have to have the data from the foreign key or from the primary key in the foreign key. Uh, that's, that's something you would typically do. I don't know a database you would create without it, but just because we're messing around with this and getting to understand access, let's leave enforce referential integrity off. We want to create that. We're going to go from genre ID to the primary key to the foreign key. We see the same thing and create that. These are the links that tie this information together. So I should be able to get the last name of an author and figure out which category of um, um, which uh, book category this particular author writes in. So that's what ties it together. I can grab information from the elective birth year um, or the author. Again, probably the author is what I'm looking for. The author and when that book book title, what the book title was, and when it was published, and what category, what genre it may have been in. So once again, that's what ties the pieces together are these relationships. Once again, you would go into database tools, relationship, and I'm in the relationship area already, relationship, and then add in all of your tables, and then just tie the links together. Click and hold from the primary key and drag to the foreign key.